Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do the air blade or propeller exercise now in Fusion. And I did it very, very similar to the Inventor version. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, let's start with some sketches. First one, just a single line. Maybe 260 long. Make it centered or symmetric with the midpoint constraint. And stop that sketch. Next I want to do the shape of the blades with another sketch on the same plane. I want to use a spline. Fit point spline, which could start here and go up. And of course I want to make it symmetric. Therefore, I need a symmetry line. I will project one axis into my sketch and that would be the y-axis. Okay. Make it for construction purpose only. Now use symmetry, this point and that point to that line. This point, that point, again to that line. Point, point, line, point, point, line. Didn't work. So try once more. Point, point, line. Okay. Then make those two vertical aligned. Now move this points a little bit. I could do it with a dimension. This could be 260 as well. Now let's move this a little bit down. You could go all the way down to that point. I will leave it like this. This looks nice. Stop that sketch. Now for my sweep I need another profile. That profile has to be in a different plane than the part. Otherwise it will not work. So I will go for a sketch on this plane. Yes. Just a line which starts here and maybe is 50 long. Okay. Seems I didn't catch the point, so move those two together. That's not possible. That's crazy. So I will delete it. Oh, I had two lines, that's the problem. Didn't notice, so make this 50 long. Stop that sketch. And now you can do a sweep and you can twist it around. So go for patch, create sweep. That's the profile. This is the path. And I want to make it, let's say, 45 degree twisted. Yes. Okay. 
Now I could change the normal. Reverse the normal of this face, maybe like this. Okay. Now I want to do a revolve. So go for a revolve. There you go. With this one around the. I think it's the x axis. Y set. Of course, I can use. this axis that's the x-axis yes and I could go for two sides let's take a look I could should start maybe with a zero and go for let's say one hundred and forty degrees that should do the trick or even one hundred and eighty and maybe that's about ninety degrees because I was in the middle so I will go for forty five degrees with that sweep That's already 45 degrees, that's okay. Now trim. Modify trim. I want to trim with this tool. I want to remove that part of the surface and confirm. Let's hide the second body. And I got one half of my blade. Now I want to go for a circle a pattern I want to pattern a body this body and the axis would be this no that one I need two instances and okay now let's stitch those together go for stitch this one and that one okay and then you can thicken that surface modify where's my thicken create there's thicken that face maybe symmetric maybe one millimeter and okay and i'm done so i hope you enjoyed this one if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel, channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.